We are in Sri Lanka for the rickshaw run. It's gonna be an incredible week. It's very sweaty. We've got seven days to get from Nagobo, which is Colombo, all the way down to Talala Beach. More than enough time. We are going to, um, gonna go everywhere, really. Day one of the rickshaw run, about to start. Everyone's lined up. It's absolutely stinking hot as usual. A little bit hungover, not gonna lie. Um, and you can see more behind me, lined up. It's about 10 in the morning. We're gonna make about, I think it's about four hour drive north. Don't know how to pronounce the name, but it's up from Colombo. Um, Google Maps says three to four hours, but realistically in these things, it's probably gonna be about six. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be fun. Shit on wheels, basically. Uh, this is our rickshaw. Uh, there's not much to it, basically. Seat in front, a couple seats in the back. Put a bit of netting there, lovely stuff. Bags fit nicely in the back. Um, and this is really what you're dealing with here. You've got your gears are on here. You've got your first, second, third, neutral, etc. Trusty old Bajaj, whatever it is. Um, and that is literally, that's it. I'm just giving you a short tour. Hello. This is uh, co-driver. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Coming to the rear. We have our tiny little tires. Uh, and of course, we are going to be known as the Hello Kitty Uber. Tuk tuk. All very, very safe. So that that's it really. Oh. Time to go. Today, this is our one here. We uh, we drove this morning from Nagom Nagombo, um, straight up north. It was a three-ish hour drive. It was pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Uh, the roads are incredible here. I'll tell you this: if you've done the India rickshaw run, this is so much easier. Put it that way. Anyway, we're up north. Uh, we're near Dambula. <laughs> it's really cheap, thirty-five quid a night. I can't beat it. I'll just show you guys. Having the beers. Tough life. Tough life. We're leading. All in all, first date, incredible. Um, Sri Lanka is lovely. I highly recommend you doing it. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Coconuts. So. Oh yeah. So he's getting the coconut. Gonna chop it on board there. Amazing. There you go. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> right. Day two. We are back. Um, drove down to Sirigiri today. Um, you can see behind me. Uh, the rock looking magnificent. Great drive down. Um, it took uh, only an hour and a half, really. Um, great roads, had a load of fun. Um, fantastic. Um, yeah, day was perfect. Had another swim this morning. 
um, real chill day. Um, I can't stress how awesome this place is if you want a chilled kind of self-drive holiday. I've seen a few few of the teams around. Uh, everyone seems to be enjoying it. I've seen some people been out seeing elephants today with this in the background. So that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. Uh, I think we're gonna do a safari from about um, two o'clock tomorrow till 6 p.m. Uh, some of the guys are gonna climb that tomorrow. I'm gonna do it in a couple more days time. Um, but yeah, overall, fantastic day. Sirigiri looking absolutely magnificent up there. So um, we'll get some more pictures of that very soon. Thanks. Day three, we uh, we drove and driven all the way down past Candy, around Candy actually, um, and down into Tea Country. We're up into Tea Country actually. So as you can see, we uh, it's been raining heavily today. We wanted to take a more scenic route because sort of the roads are really really good. So we wanted to sort of like have a bit of fun. So we've basically turned off the main kind of B road into uh, I don't know what you call like side little roads, and you can see the guys. I'm over there, Hello, DJ, <laughs> Steve, and uh, Justin, and we're in tea country now. So you can see the tea fields further past, further past down there. There's tea fields right up here behind me, um, and we're just here making a whole lot of unnecessary noise. To be honest, <laughs> see, look at this tea country, middle of nowhere, quiet other than us. Um, so yeah. So, hello. We're up high in the mountains. See our rickshaws down there. Tea plantations all over the mountains there. The guys have been there having their last bit of coffee and planning the route for the day. <laughs> Basically got a free day today. We're gonna um, got another night here tonight. So we're gonna take some really, really B roads and D roads and just actually go and get lost. Um, do a massive loop of these tea country hill areas. Um, it's raining a little bit now, but that's fine. Got trusty old rickshaws. Um, I think it's going to be quite a nice day. Um, so yeah, let's see how we get on. She does uh, tuk tuks. So uh, Justin's getting his uh, getting something fixed. Justin's getting what are you getting fixed? And they've just looked at our rickshaw here. We've got some banging and noises and backfires. So uh, they've just taken a look and said it's fine. So we're good to go. Uh, Justin's got 15 minutes, but. Uh, best day we've had here in the mountains uh, you can all so see right in the distance just down there there is another big mountain gonna head down to Ella today um, some of the guys have already gone to um, climb World's End 
So we're just gonna have breakfast, have a bit of coffee, get out on the road in the sun and head straight down to meet them. And then we're gonna, after that, head down to Ella and start enjoying um, being down off the mountains. So I realize I've not actually shown you how you start this beast. So first things first, ignition to on, we're in neutral. And then foot on the brake, hit the ignition button and it should turn on. There you go. Well, <laughs> it's not how it works, but it's the morning, cold start. They're like a, a motorbike, so the accelerator's there. Change your gears from here. So this isn't a brake, this is the clutch. So in neutral, now that would be first gear, second gear, third gear, etc, etc, etc. Keep it in neutral. You've got your horn, beep, beep. You've got your lights, your windscreen wiper, your indicators left and right, and then there's some more buttons down here, I don't know. That is basically it. I mean, we just noticed yesterday, one of our lights is basically foil. It's tin foil. Right, look at this view. Got the rickshaws over there we've just absolutely smashed it up this hill we've still got a long way to go up i think but i mean look at that view of sri lanka crazy crazy awesome day today okay we made it up in one piece except flat tire number one flat tire number two guys so we are in the middle of nowhere headed from Ella down to um, uh, where are we going Tengale I think uh, Yala we're headed to Yala uh, a little bit hungover a little bit worse wear today but I mean look at the absolutely stunning uh, views that we're dealing with right now this road is a bit crazy as you can see it goes all the way around and down you can see Steve get down there one of the rickshaws and then the other guys are just down there so, uh, amazing, amazing views on this road. This is a B road, this is not the main highway. So, yeah, I recommend if you do come to Sri Lanka and hire a rickshaw, um, don't stay on the highways, don't stay where you know, don't go where Google tells you to go. Um, just find those little wiggly ones that just seem to go everywhere. So, we've done, and you can see they're not too bad, a bit bumpy, but you meet the locals through the towns um, and you get stunning views like this with nobody around. Amazing. So yeah, headed down to Yala today, down uh, one of the B roads that apparently a lot of elephants are on. Um, we've got a lot of uh, bananas with us. We're gonna take and try and feed the elephants. Some of the guys fed them yesterday on the road. So uh, we'll see what happens.
we're done. Rickshaw run Sri Lanka 2019 is now over. We have made it. We're here in Talala Beach. Uh, absolutely incredible week. I highly recommend anyone do it. Um, and as you can see, we're having a bit of a party. Uh, it's going to go on into the night here at Talala Beach. But uh, yeah, come out and enjoy.